In this demonstration, we'll guide you through a seamless integration of Google Cloud's FileStore as a persistent volume in Google Kubernetes Engine. Watch how FileStore MultiShares empowers your GKE workloads with scalable and efficient storage. Let's dive in and elevate your cloud-native experience with this powerful combination. NFS Service is a versatile solution for containerized applications, catering to stateful workloads like databases and microservices with seamless data sharing requirements. It ensures high availability for critical applications and supports collaborative development by providing shared storage for distributed teams. With scalability and accessibility across multiple zones within a region, it's an ideal choice for diverse workloads in Google Kubernetes engine environments. The regional file store NFS service offers a flexible and scalable solution, addressing diverse storage needs for containerized applications. With its ability to seamlessly handle varied storage performance and capacity requirements, it becomes an invaluable asset for applications deployed across multiple zones within a region. This service ensures flexibility, adaptability, and optimal performance, making it a reliable choice for modern, distributed workloads in Google Kubernetes engine environments. The first step will be to deploy GKE Standard Cluster. Using Google Cloud Console we are creating Regional Standard GKE Cluster. We will name our Autopilot Cluster and select the requested region. We will then make sure we are selecting the Switch to Standard Cluster option. In this step, we will change the cluster location to regional, and leave all the other settings as default. As you can see here, we will use three node cluster. It will have three nodes per each zone, nine nodes overall. For this demo we will use N2 standard 8 instances. We will update the instance type to 32 gigabytes memory in order to run the workload faster. This will update the estimated monthly cost. We will disable GCE Persistent Disk Container Storage Interface Driver and enable FileStore CSI Driver to expose arbitrary FileStore instance to containerized workloads on container orchestration systems. The cluster is ready. In order to connect to the GKE cluster, we will copy this command and run it in the cloud shell. The second step will be to create a persistent volume claim. Creating a PVC in GKE allows our applications running in the cluster to dynamically request and use storage resources without having to worry about the underlying infrastructure details. First we will create a storage class resource, which defines the provisioner, allows volume expansion, supports multi-share and defines a maximum volume size. In this demo we will have a 128GB volume, multi-share enabled, and volume expansion. Now we will run a command to create the storage class resource. New storage class is ready for use. We are creating a YAML file describing the PVC. The YAML file includes details such as the storage capacity required 10 gigabytes in this case, access mode, read-write many, and storage class to be used. PVC creation triggers automatic file store instance deployment. As we can see here, one terabyte file store instance is being created and in pending status. The file store instance has been provisioned. and 10 GB storage claim has been successfully fulfilled. On the third step, we will create a GKE deployment with two replicas claim the 10 GB NFS persistent volume that was allocated during the previous step. Let's edit the deployment YAML file, and apply it using kubectl. Now let's run a command the get the pod status. Two pods are running. Here we present that each pod is running on a separated node in different zones. First in US East 1A and the second in US East 1D. In the fourth step we will present the case where the same shared NFS volume can be accessed by two pods running on different nodes in different zones. Let's get the pods information and run a command to connect to the first pod. We are accessing the first pod and displaying information about disk space usage on a system. As you can see the 10 GB shared NFS volume that was claimed during GKE deployment is listed here. 
Now we are creating a text file in that volume that later will be accessed from the second pod. Let's add some content to this file from the first pod. Now using a kubectl command, we will list both pods and run a command to connect to the second pod. We are connecting to the second pod. And we can see that we can access the same 10 GB shared NFS volume. We can see the previously entered text and modify the file. Pods migration can happen for various reasons, such as node maintenance, scaling operations, or optimization of resource utilization. In the fifth step we will illustrate pods ability to access the same shared volume and retain the access to its data in cases of migration. We are initiating pod eviction, and pod is recreated on a different node. We are connecting to the pod, and we can see that we can access the same 10 GB shared volume. We can also access the text file that was created by evicted pod and modified by the second pod. Now we are editing the same text file from the new pod, adding some new information and saving the file. In the sixth step we will start to scale out our deployment, we will start with scaling the persistent volume claims to a maximum allowed for this setup, which is 80. We will use a simple for loop to scale the PVCs. We will keep monitor the PVC status and wait till all 80 will be ready. In the seventh step, we will create additional 80 identical GKE deployments to scale our load. For this setup we will allocate a single shared 10 GB NFS volume per each pair of pods in each one of the deployments. We are modifying the deployment YAML file to automate GKE deployments creation. As can be seen in this example, we are changing the numbers with an index. Let's check how many pods are up and running. And running the deployment. Now we have all 160 pods up and running. During the 8th step we will use flexible I.O. or F.I.O. load tool which is designed to simulate a wide range of I.O. workloads, including random or sequential reads and writes, various block sizes, and different access patterns. In our specific case we will initiate random, small block, simultaneous reads and writes, when each pair of two pods will access its predefined shared NFS volume. First, we are running small script that will install F.I.O. on all the pods. And now, we are running a command to simulate predefined I.O. workload. Here, using Google Cloud Monitoring, we can track our system performance behavior. At the beginning, we can see that all the GKE cluster nodes issuing a lot of writes to the Filestore instance, as we preparing our working set, data files, which will be used for our workload simulation. Once data files are ready, we can see that the GKE cluster nodes start reading these files in parallel. Using these dashboards, we can potentially identify performance bottlenecks and act accordingly. In step 9, the last step of this demonstration, we will focus on the NFS volume expansion feature. Here, we'll demonstrate how easy it is to scale out a Filestore instance to accommodate increased capacity requirements. The current Filestore instance configuration is deployed with 1 terabyte of capacity. Our current utilization is 800 gigabytes, 80 PVCs, 10 gigabytes each. We will issue a request to increase the capacity from 10 gigabytes to 120 gigabytes for our first 3 PVCs which will breach the allocated 1 terabyte Filestore capacity.
Once all the capacity increase commands are issued, the file store instance automatically scales out to provide more capacity to support our requests. The expansions occur in 256 gigabytes incremental, so our file store scales to 1.25 terabytes.